Hey guys, Jay Blackwell here at Sterlini Magic and Cole in Michigan, the magic capital of the world, with a big book deal for today. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff today. We got some stacks, we got some uh, lecture notes, we got some hardback, so let's get right into it. The first stack you're going to see, everything in this stack is 250 These are the cheapest books in the lots, obviously. If you want anything you see in the video, comment down below with the name of the book and the price. Both of those are important. You guys have been doing a good job at that, but if you're new, be sure to put the name of the book and the price, or you might not get the item. Somebody else might get it um, if I have to go research and trying to figure out what you're talking about. So let's get right into it. Everything you see in this stack is $2.50 each. Houdini, The Unsold Story. This is a paperback by Milborn Christopher. This is a, oh, it's missing some, it's got a little bit of loose binding. Um, David Ginn's comedy, cut and restored handkerchief, neckerchief, neckerchief. Is that even a word? Yeah. It is in the Cubs Scouts. Cubs Scouts, yeah. Knife Through Coat, 20 of my best. This is an Ickle Pickle uh, book. I'm sure there's a lot of fun stuff in there. 50 Ways to Make Children Laugh, David Ginn. Your, your Money's Mirth. By Frank Herman. You asked for wit. I think there's a couple copies of that in there. 84 card tricks. 25 magic tricks. Was that Reese? Attack of the Goonie Birds. This looked fun. So this is uh, some fun with the balloon animals, kind of like some clown gags. Looks like there actually might be a routine with the, the balloons you make. Looked pretty fun. Another copy of You Asked for Wit. Uh, another balloon magic book. 250. And then Percy Abbott's Paper Magic. Everything you saw in that stack were 250 each. If you want any of those, comment down below with the price and the name of the book. The next stack of books you're going to see are $5 each. The first thing are a set. This is actually routine manipulation one and two. The covers are missing off of both of them, um, but five bucks for both of them if you want them. So, uh, routine manipulation set. Close up again by David Ginn. We have a few copies of that. Paper balls over the head. The McComical paper balls over the head. I don't even know what that is. Is it different than the other one? Do you know? I actually have no no clue. Oh, cool. Billy McComb paper balls over the head. That looks like it might be fun. Play it again, Sam, the close-up magic of Sam Schwartz. The Torn Restored slide of card, another McComical. The Chinese Linking Rings by William B. Ruff, Roof. Actually, that was kind of interesting. Uh, it gave reference to other routines and how many rings they used in it and dance oh. and stuff. Producing Lighted Cigarettes by Lloyd. Wuffle Dusters. A bunch of random stuff in there. A bunch of fun fun comedy stuff. Stooge, Stooge card routine. Impossible to Impossible Location. Ken Driscoll. The Real Sphingali Pitch. This looks really neat. I'm actually going to look through this. But, uh, yeah. We talk about the Svengali pitch a lot. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Don Driver videos. Those are really good. Actually, I'll put that to the side. Leave the card fan productions. Edward Marlowe. There's a couple copies of that. A lot of cool card fan stuff. The Percy Press. Glass of Water production routine. Another close-up again. Slight of Foot in Mouth by Harry Allen. Keto Box routines. Um, pretty good condition. Bedazzled by Tony Chaudhary. Thank you. I wasn't even going to try it. I was just stopping. Looks like some card stuff. Other close-up stuff. He's actually from uh, Ann Arbor area, down in Florida. Owns Tin City Magic. Looks like he's a wizard. Further tips on zombie comedy classics, or classified comedy, Robert Orban. Comedy Linking Rings, David Yen. Big, Big Laughs by Robert Orman. The Gambling Magician. This is a fun little book. 
Easy Magic, 1976. Johnny Ga Ga Gettys, Gates, Gettys. Lecture notes, they're signed. <laughs> and then another one of the Abbots, and uh, this is for the wrist tie. This one's got the little plastic laminate over it. And everything you saw in that little stack were $5 each. So again, if you want anything, comment down below with the name of the book and the price. The next book stack is $7.50. This is a fun book, How's Your Library? I actually read this not too long ago. Um, it's about your magic library, about how to keep it, and about card plates and all kinds of different stuff. A lot of fun stuff if you like to collect books in there. $7.50. The Happy Birthday Business by Francis Marshall. It's commercial, The Practical Magic of Ron Frederick. <clears throat> Let's see what's in there. Oh, and it looks like it's signed. He doesn't have much of a signature, does he? I think he prints his name. Cigarette from Nowhere, The Burned Bill, Bottoms Out. Cool. Conversations with Myself by Max Howard. Let's see what kind of stuff. Is this mentalism? He does stage. Uh, actually, he's kind of a, a character performer. He does some okay. cool stuff. Yeah, good performer. Barry Govin's Ring Link. This looks like it's pretty cool. The Top Secrets of Magic by J.G. Thompson. Spongebob Manipulation. A little bit of... Uh, the cover's pretty loose there, but... Actually, what is going on here? Okay, the cover was off and stapled back on upside down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we can pop, we'll actually pop those out and fix that if anybody buys it. Um, but Ed Marshall, uh, is that the illustrator? illustrator? Yeah, Walsh. Uh... Poker to win. I mean, that's the only way you'd do it, right? Brand new book, except for the writing in the front of it. Ad Libs by Robert Orban. Card Kinetics by David Britland. This is pretty neat. Second edition, 1988. Out of this hemisphere, this is uh, further uh, Daryl's out of this world type of effect. Um, and we got a few copies of Real Magic. These are uh, got some staining on them, but they're all good copies. Uh, all kinds of stuff with reels in there. Actually, um, Scott Alexander, when he was here, he recommended this for someone when they were asking about Serpentine Silk. This is one of the books that he brought up, or one of the first books that he did. At least first one I could go find. <laughs> Fantasio's uh, Cane and Candle book. And then Miracle Princess Card Trick. Everything you saw in that stack were $7.50. All you got to do is comment down below with the name of the book and the price, and we'll put it in your box. Mr. Gadfly... This is going to be a stack of $10 books. We're going to start with a Mr. Gadfly lot. These are three different Mr. Gadflies. Um, the Leverage Way. We've been selling a lot of Mark Leverage stuff lately. I'm sure this will go. Steve Bean, In Over Your Head. <coughs> Psych Out, a psychological... Steve Bedwell. Oh, Steve Bedwell. Psych Out, a psychological game of poker by Bruce Bernstein. On Your Feet, a book of magic by Horace Bennett. What's in here? East meets West, Ring on Wand, Coin Assembly. Cool. Uh, Patter and Rhyme. What is this? Is this Robert Orban book? By Burt Douglas. I feel like there's a Robert Orban book that has the same cover, or at least has that guy on the cover. 
Max Holden Publication. Jasper Knees Thumb Tie by Jay Marshall. That's a cool routine. It does not have the um, pipe cleaners or whatever in there. Just the yeah, booklet. Just the book, but Thimble Magic by Jean Hugard. Successful Magic by Pavel. Uh, dice Stacking Book. How to Stack Dice for Fun and No Money. The Magic World of Stuart Judah. Seven Secrets by J.C. Wagner. Uh, another Coin and Bottle Plus. This one's got some wrinkling on the cover, but the book is in fine condition. Kids Magic My Way by Edwin. Snappy Jokes. Uh, this is, I put a mark in here. There must have been something I wanted to read. Don't you despise people that are always kicking? Not always. Some of them I admire very much. For instance, Chorus Girls. Yeah, there's some good <laughs> stuff in here. Snappy Jokes. This is one of the old Johnson Smith & Company publications. Um, I think there's a couple other of those in here. I think maybe an escape one, but $10 for your vintage uh, Snappy Joke book. And speaking of Snappy Jokes, Snappy Rope Pattern. And this is the cover's a little messed up, but... Got some annotating in there as well. Corn Fidentially Yours by Carol Fox. A uh, really good copy of this. And then the Sponge Book. I think there's a couple copies of those. $10 each. Everything you saw on that stack was $10. Again, if you want it, comment down below. And we'll move on to the next stack. All right, we're almost done with the stacks, guys. And then we can talk about some of the cooler books just a little bit longer. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. This stack is twelve fifty each. Poor Man's Ring Flight. Um, this is just a insert that came with it. Back to Back, Jeff Busey's Small Packet. It's all Backs Routine. Rice's More Naughty Silks. Self Sticky Memo Notes. Um, this is pretty cool, a uh, trick with... Uh, with sticky notes. This is also a cool book. The better or the best tricks with slates. So this is all stuff with gimmick and non-gimmick slates. And then the Edison of Magic and his incredible creations, Burling Hole Volta. So all those books were twelve fifty each. And then we'll move right on to the fifteen dollar stack. Fifteen dollar each in this stack. Roy Johnson, A World of Clocks. This looks pretty neat. I don't know what's in it. Let's see. Hmm. Is it card tricks? Or is it all with watches and clocks? I don't know. There's no pictures. Oh, there we go. Oh, whew. Thought we were going to have to throw it away for a second. Sensational Rope Routine by George Sands. Uh, Enchanted Ball Manipulation. Who's that by? James Swagger. Yeah, there's actually <clears throat> there's some cool stuff in there. Magical. This is the journal for the magic collectors. There's some really cool stuff in these guys. I think we have a couple different ones in here. But these these publications are really neat. Alan Bernsky's Honest Cheat. This is there's no gimmicks or anything with this. It's just the pamphlet. And then this is another one of those Johnson Smith and Company books. This is Learn How to Be a Handcuff King. This one's actually in really good condition. So this is a vintage paperback. I think this is like from the 40s. Um, let's see. Yeah, I believe these are from the 40s. They might be from the 30s. I thought there was a copy right there, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I know I dated on it one time. I just don't remember. Uh, Something for Everyone by Daryl. This cover has all kinds of stuff on it, um, but it's actually signed, and it's got the gimmick in there for the trick. There's nothing wrong with the, the book. It's just other than it looks ugly. Routine Magic by Senior Mardo. This is a really good copy of this. I don't think there's any writing or anything in here. Uh, Silver by Michael Lair. And again, this is a good copy. 
Sigum, this is a this was an older publication, wasn't it? It's in really bad condition, but it's got some really cool articles in here. So some cool magic history stuff. I believe these are in good condition. These are thirty or forty bucks, or thirty at least thirty. So uh, fifteen bucks is a good good reading Who's copy that? of that. <coughs> Uh, Bertini's linking ring routine. Again, really good copy of this. No writing or anything in there. LaPaul presents Card Magic of Brother John Hammond. I don't think there's any highlighting in this one. This one's also in pretty good condition. Got a little bit of standing on a page, but really good condition all in all. And then what is this? Uh, Eric Anderson's lecture notes. Um, shake, rattle, and roll. Eric Anderson. All right, those were all fifteen dollars each. If you saw any of them you like, you know what to do. Last stack. These are twenty dollar books. Yeah, the, yeah, Al Leachy's Legacy, uh, comb bound, it's pretty good condition, doesn't look like there's any writing in there, it's like there's thimble stuff, ball manipulation stuff, actually pretty good pictures. Bert Allerton's The Close-Up Magician, got some staining on the covers, but all in the inside is in good condition. I think we showed one of these last week. Psych Out by Bruce Bernstein. Um, this is some mentalism stuff. Psychological game of poker. Controlled Miracles by Bill Simon. Tommy Windsor's press uh, presents press book. And this is um, some randomness. We'll see. Advertising album for magicians. This is pretty neat. Spook candles. Pretty neat stuff in there. More Patter by Sid Lorraine. And again, this is in good condition. Pretty much brand new. I would call that one brand new. Slightly Sensational by Bill Simon. Looks like it had a little bit of water damage towards the top of it. But a really good reading copy. Mostly card stuff. Poker Deal. Uh, a delightful routine. Good condition as well. And then the last one in the stack is How to Build Up a Psychic Practice with Full Length Cold Reading by Richard Webster. And Richard Webster has all kinds of cool psychic stuff, palm reading stuff. Um, and this is 1988, the Surrey print. But cool. And there you go. Those were all $20 books. And those are done. We got a few more books back here, some hardcovers, some other uh, different stuff, some more rare stuff, uh, harder to find stuff, and more expensive stuff. Uh, Michael Lamar, the topic book. This is a signed book. Um, the book is in good condition. Uh, there's some little lines there, if you can see that on the dust jacket. But it is signed. It's $40. Really good condition. There's no writing in it other than the, the signature at the, the front from Michael. The topic book. And then Digital Effects by Steve Bean. This was a new book, but it's just got shelfware. It's been on the shelf for a long time. So there's some... You know, corner edges and little stuff there. But 60 bucks, really good book on thimble work. So dig out your thimbles. If you don't have some, we actually make thimbles as well here. We have uh, special Sterlini thimbles that work really well. They're pretty neat. Um, so there you go. Digital Effects by Steve B. 60 bucks. 
Close-Up Card Miracles by Harry Lorraine. This is $50. The dust jacket is in rough condition, but the book is in really good condition. Harry Lorraine, 50 bucks for Close-Up Card Miracles. John, verse 2. I think we sold... The other one of these not too long ago. Book this of John, is, the first one. Yeah, yeah, this is 25 bucks. This one's signed. Really good condition. Um, actually, great condition. I don't think there's any other writing or issues with this other than the signature in there. Seven Deceptions by Luke Germay. This is $30. Again, no writing, no highlighting. Um, the Oakham's Magic Sampler. I'm not too sure if that's legit. The Oakham's Magic Sampler. We might need to look it up. A collection of direct deceptions by Rick Mao. $30, and I think this is mental of stuff. And then the final picture, also by Rick Now, and this one is $30 as well. Both of these are in good condition. They don't have any writing or highlighting in them. Small but deadly, $25. Paul Hallis, this is a packet trick handbook. All kinds of different packet trick stuff. This is a new book, H and R books, with hard, hardback with a dust jacket, um, brand new. Only has shelfware on it. Twenty five dollars for your entertainment pleasure by Daryl. This is sixty dollars. It's signed, and it's in uh, perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with this one. Other, than, well, I guess that would be the the biggest issue right there. Sixty bucks. Really good copy of that. This is pretty fun. Did you ever take this out and look at it, John? I have not. So this is 50 bucks. This is an old 1944 pamphlet about the Sty Stebbins stat. And I only saw a couple of these available anywhere, and they were uh, closer to the $65, $70, $80 range. So. It's in looks pretty yeah. excellent condition. Yeah, it's been kept in in this the entire time. So it's in really nice condition. And then a few more books. McCombs Magic. This is $45. Supreme Magic. This is in good condition. There's no writing. Um, the dust jacket's got some wear on it. The book has some dings on it. But all in all, it's in good condition and in really good reading condition. Um, uh, Rings on Your Fingers by Daryl Fitzke. This is the hardback edition. $25. And it's in really good condition as well. And then this was fun. So <clears throat> John found this and it's confidentially yours, but we couldn't find any hardback editions of it. So we're not sure if this was an edition that was put out or if somebody had this bound if this was the the paperback actually did we compare these no it's a little different hmm let's see That's a oh. second edition. This would be a first. So yeah. yeah. So twenty bucks. Hardback, confidentially yours. And then two John Booth books. These are both twenty five dollars each. What? Let's see what year these are. Uh, or these are the nineteen thirty nine or the nineteen forty four second printings. And this one has some writing in the front of it. But other than that. It's in really good shape. Oh, there's some underlining right there. 
Oh, there is a couple underlining parts in here. And then Marvel's a Mystery is also $25. And this one, it's not... The hinge seems a little loose there. Everything is, is holding fine, but you can just kind of feel the play in the hinge right there. But there is no writing in this one. These are both really good books, really good reads, and $25 each. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Those are the books I have for you guys today. I hope you saw some books you enjoy, um, some books you're looking forward to reading, and hope you uh, have a good day. Take it easy, guys.